What's up YouTube? This is OG Luop coming at you with another comparison. Now, in today's video, we will be comparing the Virgil Abloh Louis Vuitton 1.1 Millionaire sunglasses that are featured on my face. But there's one thing, these are actually the perfect replicas of the actual authentic pair. Now, if you guys remember, I made a review of the authentic pair purchased from the Louis Vuitton store in Austin, Texas. You guys can see that in my old videos and you can also see the repair I did on these after I snapped them in half. More to that story in that video, I won't digress. But I recently was in the market for a black pair of these, which I am still in the market for, but I didn't want to quite spend another $900 like I did on this pair. And actually they are reselling some of them for $1,300 and even more. So what I did was I went on eBay and I saw one from a buyer and I was like, I'll take a chance. They were only like 400 bucks. So I purchased these, they come in and they are the perfect replicas. Good thing I have the original pair of real authentic pair so I could do that comparison and I could actually tell that these were not authentic. So I've already put in for a return on these and as soon as I send these back, which will be today, I'll get my money back. But I'm gonna show you guys how to know the difference between these two, the authentic and the perfect replica. And I'll be showing you guys the paperwork, the boxes and just the differences. There's a lot of nuances that you can see between these two pairs so that you can distinguish between authentic and replica so you won't get scammed out here and waste your money. So stay tuned for the next segment of this video. All right, guys, so let's just take a look at some of the components that come with the Virgil Abloh Louis Vuitton Millionaire 101s. You have the carry-in box right here that the glasses will be in. You have the box that they actually come in. I was going to show you guys the bags, but they're kind of similar, so I won't even get into that. And inside, you'll have this right here. This is going to be the receipt. The receipt goes in here, and inside of this box is actually the wipes for the lenses of the glasses. Let's take a look at the boxes. I'm sorry that this box is dirty. It has been uh, over a year since I've had these glasses. The boxes are very similar. Even the dimensions almost perfectly alike if you look at the boxes. It even has the magnetic strip in the fake box. You see that magnetic. Same thing here, magnetic. If you look inside, the material is very similar. It is a little softer on the authentic box than it is on this replica box, but very similar. You even have the Louis Vuitton on the inside. That's why these are perfect replicas here. Just showing you guys, it's the same dimensions unless the same box. There's no other distinguishing details between these boxes that um, I could point out. So that's going to be a hard one right there when trying to authenticate if you're just referencing off of the carrier box. Now, when you go to the actual box that this goes in, these boxes go in, there are some big differences. So with the authentic Louis Vuitton box, when you feel, and I'll try and make it so you guys can see that, the Louis Vuitton lettering is actually raised and elevated on this box, so you can feel it. It has a texture to it. Here, it's just screen printed right on. It's not the right Louis Vuitton font either, if you look at it. And let me stack these so you guys can get a better look. So you guys see the difference. You can see it's a more quality box. The shading and stuff like that, coloring is off. This is a little longer. Now these boxes could potentially by season, the authentic box could change in how the styling is on it. And they could upgrade the fake boxes. They probably will after they see this video. <laughs> but coming here, you guys can see that the wipe for the unauthentic pair, it comes in a plastic bag like this. If you guys watched my original unboxing video for the real pair, it wasn't such a bag like this. It actually stays inside of here. The carrying case and the wipes are in here. And again, here's the original receipt. So you can see these are, you see my name, Louis Egger Delizen, was the purchaser. And you guys have the 101 millionaires in the white. All right, so now that we've taken a look at these exterior boxes, we can actually take a look at these uh, frames themselves to see the subtle differences in them. But just from look at that, it is very hard to tell which one would be authentic and which one would be fake. All right, so let's take a closer look at these guys. 
Now I'm holding it at this angle right here because I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna jump right into it. The biggest difference in how to tell which one is real, authentically made by Louis Vuitton and which one is a perfect replica. Now, if you notice, we're taking a look. This is the authentic pair. The Louis Vuitton monogram print is on the frame of each pair of these. You have featured, you have the Louis Vuitton symbol, the trife, the quatrefold, and the flower. That's what these signals are right here. These symbols and the signals are right here. Now, you guys can see the texture, how it's elevated on the authentic pair. You guys see that? It's elevated. It is not flush with the frame of the glasses. You can see the cheaper material used on the perfect replicas. Now, it still features the same thing. It may not be as clean of a finish when you look at the uh, quatrefold, the flower, and the Louis Vuitton symbol, but you guys see how it's not elevated. It's flush with the frames. I'm trying to get you guys the best angle of that possible. And here's a reference. I have pictures showing up too on the screen where it might be easier to identify than on video. But that right there is the biggest single indication of a unauthentic pair. And you guys can see it good in that angle. I'm focusing on the unauthentic pair, and then I'm focusing on the authentic pair. You guys see how when you get up on here, you can actually see where it is not flush. Another key indicator is actually these hinges. Now, it is a very hard fold on the fake pair, but you see how loose it is. And again, these have been used, so of course it's gonna be a little more loose, but these you actually have to use quite a bit of string to open and close on the unauthentic pair. Another thing is the actual size of the frame. The shape is slightly off, and it's hard to tell with my pair since they're so broken. They're literally glued back together. But if you guys look at the actual frame and the shaping of the lenses, it's slightly off. There's a bigger groove on the inside here, a bigger dip than there is actually on the authentic pair, if you guys can see that. And again, pictures will be popping up because I know it's kind of hard to tell in video. But those right there literally are the biggest differences in these glasses. They are almost identically unique and it actually is very hard to tell between the authentic pair and the unauthentic pair unless you actually have an authentic pair with you at the time of looking at them. But as I told you guys, the biggest thing right here is just the overall quality. That right there, the material is used and how that is flushed, that's gonna be the biggest indicator that I've seen. Because if you look inside of here, it's um, different style codes, different things for each of the glasses. But it's, for the most part, that's a real coat for a black pair of a, and the season it is for the Louis Vuitton Millionaires. And just like this one, it's engraved into it. It has the texture. It's not just a stamp on, it's been engraved into these and these are unauthentic. Give you guys some more looks. It has a similar tint uh, for the actual uh, lenses of the glasses to the authentic pair. It has a similar shape other than from that front angle. These glasses are very identical, these shades. Here's just another look. Now, to an untrained eye, or to any eye really, if you saw these on somebody, you would probably think they were the real deal because they look identical to the real deal. In fact, when I first pulled them up, I didn't know. I was like, oh, maybe I just got a really good deal. And so I literally put them next to my authentic pair and compared it that way. You guys can see, even down to the font, the similarities are key. I know the authentic pair is fading a little bit because it has been worn a lot before I broke them, but there are just so many similarities. So you really have to be careful with these guys. I actually recommend just going ahead and buying from the Louis Vuitton store if you are very serious about having a authentic pair, because honestly, they're just gonna keep getting better and better with the uh, replicated versions. So thank you guys for watching this video. Again, I'll have more content like this coming in the future, so make sure to like and subscribe.